Hi, my name is Michael. I'm going to walk you through a demonstration on how to install the ADAPT framework on your computer. Now this is going to be a Mac install. Uh, for Windows users it will be very similar. There might be a couple nuances that will be different, but the instructions are basically the same. The ADAPT framework is a little bit different than the authoring tool, if you're familiar with the authoring tool. It's a way to create courses using just code. So if you're not familiar with things like JSON or JavaScript in general or HTML, CSS, those topics, then I would recommend going to learn about those before using the framework for any development of courses. Um, or just go use the, the authoring tool instead of the framework. So I'm going to walk through the installation steps. Here's This is Adapt Learning's GitHub page for manual installation of the framework. What we'll do is we'll install the prerequisites, which are git, node.js, grunt, and the adapt command line interface. Then we'll download the framework and install the module dependencies and then run the application. So let's get started with the prerequisites. You can see we need git first. Now I already have git installed in my system, but what you'll need to do if you don't have it then is go to git's page and just download the version that you need and install it. It will walk you through the steps of installation. So it's not that difficult, just download it, install it. If you don't know if you have it or not, you can come to your terminal and type in git and if it prints out a bunch of text, then you do have it. If it says command not found, then you need to install it. Let's clear that out. So the next thing we need to install is Node.js. Now you can install it much the same way as Git. You just click install and it will download it and run you through the process. Um, but there's another way to install Node and NPM where you can control which version you're using at a moment's notice. So we can use Node Version Manager to run Node and NPM and you can install multiple versions of Node and then switch between them almost like Git branches if you're familiar with Git. Uh, if you're running on Windows You'll need to install one of these or another one called Nodist. Um, that's N-O-D-I-S-T. But for Mac users, just go ahead and install NVM. It's fairly simple. You can just take this command here. We'll copy that and bring over our terminal and paste it in there. And it's going to download the .nvm file to my root folder. So if I say ls-la, you'll see that I now have .nvm here. And what you'll need to do after this is quit your terminal and then reopen it. Let me zoom in here and run nvm. And for most of you, that should work. For me, however, on this setup, I this is a new account on my operating system, a user account, so I don't have all the files that I need pre-installed on here, but it's really simple to fix this. Um, what you'll need is one of these three files in your root folder. Now, since this is a fresh install for a user account, I don't have any of these three, and what NVM tried to do is put this command into one of those, but it didn't find one. So let's go ahead and just create one. So I'll clear this, and I'll say touch, and I might just make a dot profile. So we'll make dot profile, and you need to make this in your root directory. Uh, so create that, and then I want to nano dot profile and that will allow me to copy this command and paste it into here exit out of that and yes we want to save it yes.profile is the name and let's do ls-la now you can see that I have .profile in there along with .nvm 
and I've copied in the command that we need to be able to run it. I'm just going to quit my terminal first, reopen it, zoom in, and then run nvm, and it should work. There we go. So let's clear that out. Now that I have nvm installed, I don't have node installed yet, so I need to run nvm install and then type in the version number that I want to use. So I'll install the this version through nvm and hit enter. Now that that's installed, you can see that I have npm and node and it tells me which versions of each that it, it installed. So if we wanted to install a different version, let's see what the latest is. It is 12.7. So let's just copy that and switch back to the terminal and we can say nvm install this version and it will download that one. Okay, that's installed. Let's type in nvm to see what other commands we can use. Now, if we want to see which versions we have installed, we run nvm ls. So I can say nvm ls. And it shows that I have these two versions, and I'm currently running the last one I just installed. Now, we want to set up a default version. So I'll run this command. And I want to set the default as 10.33. And now it is running that one as the default. Let's see which one we're running right now. NVM LS. We're still running the latest version, so I can just say NVM use 0.10.33. And now I'm using a different version of Node, but I still have the latest version installed, and I can switch back to that one at any time. So it's really nice to work with Node. Um, and what's next? We need to install the grunt command line interface and the adapt command line interface. Let's go back to the terminal. I'll clear all this out. So this is really easy and we're just going to use npm to do it. So we say npm install and we need grunt. Uh, we need to actually do dash global. So dash g means that we're going to install it globally so we can access it from anywhere in the computer. Uh, so we need to run grunt dash cli and we can just attach on adapt dash cli because we need to install both of those to make the framework work. Uh, and that will install for us. Okay, we've got those two command line interfaces installed, and we'll clear out of this. So what's the next step? We need to download the framework and then install the module dependencies with npm. Now you run npm install and then adapt install. There's a different way of doing it though. You can either go to the adapt framework github page and download the files from there. Then you'll cd into that folder and run npm install then adapt install that will install the dependencies or we can use the adapt command line interface I'll go into my desktop um, and run adapt create course that's all you need to run and it will ask me a couple questions we want it to be a course so just hit enter we want to give the name of the course here so we'll just say it's Michael course I'll hit enter on that, and we want to start off on the master branch. Yes, we'll create it now. Yes. Um, oh, I've created one already, so I'm just going to override that with yes. And it's going to download the files from GitHub uh, for the framework. And then what it's going to do for us is it's going to download the node dependencies. You can see it's installing node dependencies and it's also going to install the adapt dependencies so we don't even need to run npm install or adapt install it's a very easy way of doing this so now that all those are installed you can see that it installed all the adapt dependencies and up here it did the node dependencies so all we need to do is cd into the course michael course 
and then run grunt build. It tells you exactly what to do here. Grunt build, and that's going to run. And once that's done running, we'll run grunt server. Okay, the grunt build is finished. And if you're not familiar with grunt, all that did was it ran through some tests, it compiled the code into uh, more browser readable code, and um, and tell, told you if there are any errors. So it says there's no errors. If there's no errors, we'll run grunt server, and that should open into our browser. Okay, so the first time you use this, or not even the first time, but the before you disable this error, um, you're going to get a notice that says the course could not connect to an LMS. Well, we haven't connected it to an LMS yet, so that doesn't really matter. Just hit OK, and it will bring up the Adapt course. So this is version 2 of the framework, and this is their demo course that they've created to show off the capabilities. Um, but we can go into the code, and uh, let's minimize this window, and bring over the folder with all of the code. So here we have um, the source folder where we can go in and look at the theme structure. So the adapt theme that they built is called this. And we can change any of these things that we want to in a code editor and then run grunt build again and it will populate the changes on here so I could change the background color of this. And that's for a different video because it gets a little more in depth. But I hope this helped you get the framework installed. It's a really great tool for creating courses.